Monsters are real. The boy's perspective. It's half past eight. Mom's tucking me into bed. She pulls up the cover. She says goodnight to my brothers and she kisses me on the head. She tells me goodnight. I'll see your cute face in the morning. She flicks out the light. She whispers goodnight. My brother's fast asleep and they're snoring. Scared, my tummy starts to flip. I'm afraid I'm about to vomit. I'm afraid of the darkness when the nightmares start and the monsters come out of my closet. My chest gets heavy. I'm short of breath. I pray my head it won't leave. It comes right at night when I turn out the light. It's most vulnerable time to feed. Then I pull the sheets down over my eyes. When it's in short of air. I count to ten and start over again and then I pretend that there's nothing there. But I see it, a dark shadow stretched across the walls of my room. It smells of flesh and rotten breath, a miscarriage dead in the room. I try to pretend that I don't see it, hiding behind my dolls. But then it grows taller and I become smaller, then it drops to the floor and it crawls. It attaches itself to the side of my bed and pulls itself onto my mattress. My mouth gets dry, I'm afraid I'll die, I panic, close my eyes till it passes. I'm paralyzed. My body is riddled with fear. My extremities buckle and the monster chuckles in a flash. Turns to ash. Gone. Disappears. Then I pull the sheets down over my eyes and I peek around my room. The closet door slams, so it's swept from my hands and the monster's now headed for you. So if you think that monsters aren't real, just wait till you're almost asleep. It lives in your closet where it waits and it watches and it strikes when you're almost asleep.